Four go for gold team captain Jai Reyes, his potential game-tying three-pointer was really fouled, which could have changed the result of Game 1 of the 2018 PBA D-League Foundation Cup Finals. With 8.4 seconds left and the game on the line, with the Scratchers trailing the Revelers, 96-99, Reyes missed the game equalizing triple as he fell down after colliding to defender Jason Milano, who rushed his way to challenge the shot after eluding the screen of Gab Banal. The 5'7 Reyes, Banal, and the entire Gopher Gold team were asking for a foul, but they didn't get it as Chris Patoon eventually sealed the come from behind 196 game one win with a split from the free throw line last Thursday at the Eners Sports Arena in Pasig. I don't know, I don't want to get fined, but that's the call they're making all season long, Reyes said. Before the game, they always talk to team captains, right? I'm the team captain of Go for Gold, Yan Young Parating No. 1 Nasin Asabi NG Referee, Landing Spot. Landing Spot. I didn't even have any landing spot during that shot, that's why I had to fall down, so I felt that should have been a foul, so I don't know, he added. Reyes, who avoided fouling out with five fouls, admitted that Jeff Virens, who made 27 of his 34 points in their second-half comeback, was unstoppable. But he insisted that the referees changed the way they called the game, especially in the payoff period. Shinatan Ako NG Shinatan Nai Jeff Nung fourth quarter. I felt like Nandu Nako Piro Talagang Nasushu Nia A, the 31-year-old Reyes said. I don't want to make any more comments about the refs, I felt that they changed the way they called the game when we were up big. That's what I always tell them be consistent, be consistent. Because it's tough to guard the leading scorer of the league for the whole game. Dot and I'm guarding him like that for 27 minutes then the fourth quarter they're gonna change how they call it. So what? I'm gonna adjust for those last plays? Hey and nah nga I tried to adjust Benaji and Ko NG counting space, island na ko five fouls na ko piro nasu shoot to laga nia a, he added. As they cannot undo what happened in the series opener, the Ateneo standout, who finished with 11 points, 4 assists and 3 rebounds, admitted that he has to limit his turnovers the next game. I feel like I just have to play the same way the next game, but limit the turnovers to Laga," said the 2005 UAP Rookie of the Year, who committed five turnovers including the last second miscue when he lost the ball off the dribble. But for the skipper, the Scratchers really lost steam in the second half and played not to lose in the fourth quarter allowing the Revelers to steal the first blood. Lahit NG Talo Naman this season, a pat not Talo, Ganyan same same. I think when we get the lead our problem in the fourth quarter we play not to lose, he said. We stop attacking, and that's the strength of our team, we're trying to just milk the clock, execute. And that's not us, we have to keep on playing the same way all 40 minutes. Despite the heartbreaking game one loss, there is no time to grieve for Reyes and the Scratchers as they move on and try to equalize the best of five series in game two on Tuesday next week. By tonight, by tomorrow, Walla Nartapos Navi. That's how series is go, this is not a three game series. This is a five game series, so game one is just one game ang problema lang ang sakit ng talo na tu, he said. The positive side is alam naman na kaya naman sila lamangan ng malaki. So yun lang, you know, be pissed right now, and then get over tomorrow. <laughs>